I am Congresswoman Val Demings representing the 10th Congressional District of Florida. Thank you for being here this evening. I noticed that you, like many of your sister congresswomen, are wearing suffragette white. We are because it's just 100 years that women have had the right to vote, which is shocking when you really think about it. And so we wear it as a constant reminder and also as a tribute to those brave, courageous women who fought, suffered. Many of them did not make it. Many of the people who were involved in the women's suffrage movement never had saw the right to vote. But because of them, we have that right now. So it is a tribute and honor and a reminder that we are still fighting for equal pay, for equal work, for example. But our power really begins at the ballot box. And so we ought to never fail to use it. I think that's spot on, and you make a really good point. A lot of times, the people involved in a movement don't get to reap the rewards for it. And so, but, you know, I was having this conversation today that when we think about people like during the women's movement or the civil rights movement who died along the way, some violently, you might can kill the messenger, but you cannot destroy the message because the torch is passed on. And so here we are, my generation and future generations will continue to fight for women's rights and equal rights and civil rights and voting rights because those are the principles that this nation, um, if, we, if we are going to be who we say we are, then we've got to continue to fight for those things and we will. And I think it's such an important point. I mean, these things are historical battles, and they happen over a long period of time. So, Congresswoman, what can you tell us about your fight against the amount of gun violence that's going on in this country? You know, as I said, I represent Florida, Orlando, Florida. I spent 27 years at the Orlando Police Department, so gun violence is a subject that I know a lot about. The Pulse nightclub is in my district where 49 innocent people died. People who were out for what we call a late night fellowship. And they lost their lives and many more were injured. And they are now carrying physical, visible wounds and invisible wounds. If we're the greatest country in the world, surely we can pass legislation that will prevent innocent people from dying in churches and synagogues and movie theaters and nightclubs, in elementary school and in high school. We're a better nation than that. And this body, the most powerful body in the world, our Senate, the most powerful deliberative body in the world, has the power to change that. And the time is now to pass legislation. We have legislation that is sitting in the Senate that they refuse to pass. And so we have got to mobilize and send a strong message that we need to pass that legislation that can save lives. It's a matter that is important. It's not just to me, but to a lot of people. Well, and people are very united on this. Americans almost uniformly poll in support of the measures you're talking about. How would you encourage people to get involved and support this fight? Well, you know, we need to, this is a great week to really talk about accountability. Number one, we would ask, we know that 75% of Americans are in favor of some of the legislation that we passed, like universal background checks. Let's start by holding the people you elect and send to office accountable. Call your senator, write your senator, visit your senator and ask them why haven't they passed the legislation <coughs> excuse me that 75% of Americans agree with to end gun violence or at least reduce gun violence in this country let's start holding the people accountable that we elect um, meet with your senator have town halls ask your senator to hold town halls where people can stand up and ask these very critical questions. But it's about accountability and, um, and holding people accountable. And that's the thing. The people that we elect are accountable to their constituents. 
not powerful gun lobbies. That's absolutely right. At the local level, state and federal level. Let's hold elected officials accountable. Look, I served as a police chief. I couldn't run away from accountability, right? I had people call in my office and I responded to them. But sometimes we elect people to the highest offices in the land and that you can't reach them. You can't find them. And so when elementary school age kids are dying in a classroom, is that the kind of America that we've become and we do nothing? When high school students are scrambling for their lives, and one of the places that should be the safest place for them, safer than their home. Is that the kind of America that we have become? No, I would say we're better than that. And it's time for us to start acting like it. Thank you so much, Congresswoman. Thank I you. appreciate you very much. Thank you. Yeah, it is, it's incredibly tragic. And it's recent, too, you know. Um, but, yeah, do you, who did you bring as your guest this evening? Well, health care is still a top priority. Um, you know, there was Dr. King said, of all of the injustices, the lack of health care is the greatest because of the consequences. And so I have invited uh, a commissioner from Orlando. His name is Bakari Burns. He is the CEO of the Orange Blossom Community Health Center. And they provide health care to patients who otherwise would not be able to see a doctor or afford a doctor. And so I'm very proud to have him as our guest tonight to talk about how important community health centers are in communities all over this country. And we've got to do a better job. If we, look, we can be Republicans and Democrats and we can agree and disagree on a lot of things. But surely, if we're the greatest country in the world, can't we agree that every person in the greatest country in the world should have access to health care. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and so I'm delighted to have him with me tonight so he can hear what the president has to say about this very important issue. Thank you so much, Congresswoman.